Hey everyone and welcome to VFX Vibe once again. So in today's video we are going to see how we can use a different scale inside Nuke and how we can improve our keying process. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, as you can see over here, I have a footage and it's moving and if I want to replace my sky, so as you can see over here, my sky is against trees and sky is visible through uh, trees gap as well. So in this uh, case, I think difference care will work pretty fine. So directly what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, take a node called difference gear and it's pretty basic already. I have discussed this node in detail. If you want to know more detail about this uh, node, you can go and can check my keying series over there. I have discussed this node in detail as well. So over here you can see we have two inputs and one output and in different scale properties we don't have much uh, information. We have offset and gain as well, right? So how different scale works? Basically it subtracted one information from another, right? So this is the algorithm on which different scale based upon. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one constant node and in constant node, I'm going to select my picker and over here I'm going to hold on control shift and I'm going to uh, drag uh, area just to sample and what I'm going to do I'm going to connect my difference gear with my uh, scan and I'm going to connect uh, one input input a with my constant and if I can see there is no changes but when I'm going to use a for alpha I can easily see my sky information has been subtracted but I am getting few holes or uh, area where my main plate is uh, transparent as well. So what I need to do, I need to preserve my this information and only I want to subtract my sky as well. So how I can do that? So in difference gear, we have gain and offset. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to crank my gain and as I'm going to do that, you can easily see my every detail is filling with white. That means we won't have any kind of transparency over there. But as you can see over here, I'm introducing few white points in my transparent area as well. So for, uh, to control that, I can use my offset as well and might be I can lower it down a little. Uh, just reduce the gamma of the viewer. So I'm getting very uh, uh, dark patches over here. So how we can fix that patches. So you don't need to do anything. Just take a roto node, right? And you can just make uh, some sort of selection, something like that. And just you need to add your roto after my difference scale. So what I'm having, I'm ha having a solid alpha information. And if I'm going to use my pre-mult, right? If I'm going to use my pre-mult, you can see I am getting good amount of detail. For now, we need to replace my uh, sky. So okay, let me import my sky. So here I have my sky, as you can say, it's 8K. And if I'm going to place it something like that, there will be a problem. Let me show it to you. So what will happen? My sky is of 8K. So for time being, I'm going to reformat it to HD so that it will work with my composition. And as you can see over here, I am having my sky and I am having good detail of trees and all, as you can see. So if I'm going to do one and two, so you can see I'm having my detail preserved right so here my sky has been replaced but what will happen if i'm going to play it so what will happen my foreground is moving but my sky is not moving for that what we need to do obvious we need to track it so i'm going to take a node called camera tracker just I'm going to connect with my main plate. And if you can see over here, my uh, waterfall is moving. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a roto shape and might be I can roto it out. Roughly I'm doing it because already I have talked this thing or I have I had made a video, detailed video on camera tracker. You can go and can check. So I'm going over here. I'm going to add a preview and might be I'm going to add like 500 points. And in camera tracker, I'm going to use mask alpha, right? So I'm going to fast forward it and I'll come back once it's done. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm done with my tracking. So directly I'm going to hit on solve and it will solve my camera information and my camera and everything will be with me. So I'm having a error of 0.98. So I'm not going to retweak it already. I have uh, did that video. You can go, you can check. Quickly, I'm going to delete rejected and delete unsolved and might be I can do uh, 10 and 4 and 8. Quickly, I'm doing it. And I'm going to delete rejected one more time and delete unsolved one more time and I'm going to refine it. So I'm happy with my result. So directly I'm going over here in camera tracker. I'm going to create my scene. And as you can see over here, I have my information and I have my camera moving something like that. I'm not going to uh, do orient scene and all. You already know that how we can manually orient uh, our scene as well. So for this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one sphere because this is this shot is a little rotating. So I want to create a realistic sky movement. So in a sphere, I'm going to scale it little and I'm going to connect my this texture with my sky and I can see I can take one scan line render and in scan line render scene will be this and camera will be this and I can see my this thing render but it's not coming correct so in point cloud I'm going to render off and in over here I'm going to take a transform node and I'm going to scale it down right so that as you can see over here, it's creating a good amount of cove. As you can see, yeah, it's rotating and rotating pretty fine. Uh, at last, I'm not getting uh, this information. So might be I can scale it little more or little less. Yeah, little more. And now I'm going to play it. So I'm getting good amount of uh, uh, sky and I can replace my this sky with this and as you can see over here I'm having my detail might be I can flip it might be I can flip it so let's take a mirror node let's see how mirror is working and in mirror might be I can flip it something like that so let's see now what I'm getting I'm getting some amount of detail over here as you can see sky detail so it's good might be I can take one uh, grade node after that and I can create some sort of contrast so that our information or our data or our detail of sky should visible so as you can see over here I have this information and I have Earlier, I have this information and now I have this information and it's pretty uh, good. So after that, I can take one more grade node and might be in uh, gamma. I can add little uh, bluish tone might be or greenish might be bluish. This will work. This will help our trees to blend more and now I'm getting good amount of uh, sky replacement if you want to blend our sky in a better way what else we can do before merging this I can I can use I can take a merge node right and I can connect my this information it's a way of doing it you can do it whatever you want right to blend all those information so this will be my foreground and this will be my background and I'm going to reduce opacity a little right just to blend it in a better way and now I can what I can do I can take this information and I'll add it in the background and as I'm going to see it my information or my data will be blended in a better way as well so as you can see this was earlier so you can see I'm not having a good amount of blend but as I'm doing this technique I'm having good amount of blend as well so this is a cheat but this is the way how we can do it you can uh, manually use this information to blend it in a better way so if I'm going to play it my sky will move along with my camera movement my sky has been replaced 
माई एवरी ट्री डिटेल और ट्रीज लीफ डिटेल हैज बीन प्रिजर्व एंड वी हैव अ बेटर शॉर्ट सो आई एम होपिंग दैट दिस ट्यूटोरियल विल हेल्प यू एंड इफ यू थिंक दैट दिस ट्यूटोरियल इज हेल्पिंग यू प्लीज डोंट फर्गेट टू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल प्लीज डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब विद दिस सेड दिस इज वे फिक्स फाइव साइनिंग ऑफ हैव अ गुड डे